really like this. Where's your dad? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Madam, you there with the blindfold and the striking young man at your side. How would you like to be today's big winner? Oh, all right, all right, you maniacs. You know I don't like to be blindfolded, so... That's just... not what she said last night. Luke, shh. What is going on? <laughs> it's a game, Mom. A game? It's a game. All you gotta do is answer a few simple but relevant questions and win a studio full of fabulous prizes. Oh, prizes? Okay. Suddenly I'm interested. I thought that might get your attention. <laughs> Whoops. I'll <laughs> look at you. And now, with the help of my lovely assistant, Butch, how would you like to play that scintillating new game, Is, is Your, your heart, heart in, in the, the Right Place? place? <laughs> and now, ladies and germs, my trusted cauliflower ear, totally punch drunk assistant, Rocky the Champ, will introduce our first contestant. Uh, please introduce yourself to the audience at home. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Laura Spencer. I'm a wife, a mother, and a. Uh, uh, homemaker and the social worker in training. And so much more. <laughs> well, why am I here? It's Valentine's Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day and I have to work for my presents. Now, what's wrong with that picture? I don't think you'll feel that way once you have seen what's behind door number one, door number two, and the incredibly mysterious door number three. Are those my good sheets? Mom, pay attention. Or you may answer some very relevant but simple questions and win the entire booty! Is it Trivial Pursuit? I love Trivial Pursuit. No, no, darling. This is your life, Laura Spencer. Nothing trivial about that. Excuse me, what is all of this stuff? What, and where'd you get it all? Irrelevant, my dear. If I choose to moonlight and spend every last cent on my honey on Valentine's Day, it is my right as a lovesick fool. Every last penny? It's just a matter of speaking, Petunia. Don't worry. And now, on with the show! Contestant number one, what is your choice? Well, well, it's easy to say what's underneath there. Uh, I mean, of course it is. Door number one, with underneath that, that curtain there, there's a, a beautiful silk scarf, right? Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it's not a fur coat either. Well, it better not be. If I get a fur, the animal better still be inside it and be breathing. Okay, let's try door number two then. Uh, door number two, door, that would be... Oh, uh, I know. It's a big jewelry box. Oh, <laughs> dream on. <laughs> but you shine <laughs> far more than precious gold, my darling. And I'm sorry, but you're just too young for diamonds. Darling, you're never too young for diamonds. Okay, door number three. Uh, I don't know. I'm completely flummoxed. Flummoxed? Well, Rudolph, on loan from the North Pole, since she has totally blown this part of the program, we will move on to the question. <laughs> Thank you, Bullwinkle. And now, are you ready for the musical question? Is your heart in the right place? <laughs> she's ready, she's ready. Come on. She's ready, she's ready. <laughs> what was the very first wedding band that your ever loving husband gave you made from? Is this a trick? Probably. Paper. Yeah! <laughs> Paper? Yes, it was a cigar band. Oh, what's she win? Come on, what's she win? What's she win? All right, she has won for the very first time. A little homemaker who finally owns a home wins her very own stove. Oh, Luke. Thank you. Now, 
my god awful gawky assistant Goofy will present the contestant with the next question. I, oh, wait a minute now. Don't I get to look at this great No, song? no, I'm oh, sorry, my music. dear. There are other questions to be asked, other prizes to be won. Don't look a gift stove in the mouth. <laughs> Take one, please. All right, I'll do All right. Oh, a multi-parter. Oh, can she take the pressure? <laughs> <clears throat> Is your heart in the right place, madam? Well, it certainly was when we started. Let me check. I'd say so far so good. Ooh, well, the rules say that I must check that myself <clears throat> later. And now, are you ready? In a certain barn in Beecher's Corners, who was the dangerously dashing man you slept with? Luke? Dad. Oh. Please, assistants and contestant, we have a national audience to worry about. We're protecting the children. When I say slept with, I meant sleep, as in drooling, snoring. Good night, John Boy. You know what he's talking about? Yes, I do. Lloyd Johnson. Bingo! Oh, that's another game, isn't it? <laughs> you slept with a guy named Lloyd Johnson? Uh, no, yes. He, he was Lloyd Johnson, and I was Lucy Johnson. And the place was... The Whitaker Farm. The contestant is right in the crowd goes wild. <laughs> and now, because your heart is in the right place, no longer will you have to worry about ugly, unsightly spots on your dishes or dishpan hands, because, madam, you have won a brand new dishwasher. Luke, you got it. Oh, you read my mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that is so great. Oh, okay, okay, last one, last one. Oh, 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 all right, all right, the last one. But before we have the last one, a little time out for a word from our sponsor, which will give us an opportunity to give our wonderful, web-footed, wise-cracking assistant Daffy an opportunity to win his own prize. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, can you answer the question? Where was Lucas Lorenzo Spencer Jr. born? It's too easy. You don't want the prize? We can always find another kid who knows Texas. where he was born. Whoa, and he gets it right! Amazing! And for answering correctly, you win your very own portable tape player. Oh, oh cool! That's great! Isn't that great? And now yes. on to the final event. On to the final event. Mm. My assistant and long-lost fifth Mark's brother, Blippo, <laughs> will present the question. Presento. I'll ask. You answer. <laughs> Where on earth, Laura Weber Spencer, did you spend the night before your marriage to Lucas Lorenzo Spencer, Sr.? The night before we were married. Giggle puss. Yep. Oh, why is it every time we're together like this, the whole rest of the world can just float out beyond the barrier reef? Uh, maybe because we don't need him when we're together. Just one more minute. Sure. This is Spencer. One more You think I don't remember. Well, could you answer for the benefit of a blippo here and the studio audience? The Port Charles docks with a man I'm absolutely crazy about. Ooh. <laughs> Good answer. It crawls on its belly like a reptile. It slithers. It moves to the grand prize. And you have one for answering so beautifully. A fully stocked, color-coordinated, refrigerator freezer! Oh, oh this is great! Oh, it's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely perfect! Well, I'm exhausted. Me too, <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I can't believe this. I have everything now. I have absolutely everything that I want. Uh, mm. Mm. Excuse me, I think I'm going to go up to my room and hurl now. Was it the mushy stuff that got to you? Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks for the great gifts. All right, ladies and gentlemen and contestants, let's hear it for our assistant and one of the denser planets of the universe, Pluto! Wait, 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 wait. I want to play another round. I want to play another round for the heart of the host. Oh, darling. You cannot win what you've already won and belongs to you. <laughs>